once again to the podcast and YouTube channel of Jane Zander. Tonight on The Midnight Man with Jane Zander, we have two more stories for your listening pleasure. Without further ado, let us now welcome Jane Good evening, and welcome to The Midnight Man with Jane Zander. I'm Jaden, and tonight I will bring to you two more stories from my collection. Well, what if a myth, a legend, is actually a true story? Well, this is my story. Well, the first story is about this myth or legend with regards to the white crocodile. Well, it was said uh, uh, that a white crocodile actually exists, but it's a legend because no, no one has actually seen uh, this um, crocodile before. But uh, I think I did um, feature a story in season one where um, a white crocodile was said to be our guardian in our family. Well, there is another story to this, and here it is. But this story was told to me by my um, auntie a long, long time ago, and uh, it happened to her uh, while uh, one day uh, while she was asleep. And um, as you know, uh, in my family, just to retrace back the story, uh, once upon a time, uh, my great, great, great great grandma gave birth to a twin and one of the twin was a white crocodile and um, this white crocodile was released uh, into uh, the sea and every year on a year on an annual basis they would go down to the same location where they released this uh, white crocodile and feed uh, this uh, white crocodile in a ritual and uh, it was said that this white crocodile would uh, come back to protect the family should there be any ill intention uh, from uh, others to hurt any of our family members. And uh, that is uh, a bit of the story, a bit of the backstory anyway. And um, well, let's, let us go back to this story. Well, my auntie, uh, one particular day uh, at night, actually when she was asleep, uh, she dreamt of this um, white crocodile. Okay, this white crocodile actually came to her at night in her dream, and uh, this white crocodile came to her in a form of uh, a handsome uh, man. And uh, it was said that uh, he was seen a couple of times when uh, we were staying in Marine Parade. Um, he came to visit, and anyway. So uh, in her dream, this uh, white cro- crocodile came to her uh, in the form of a handsome uh, man and uh, he uh, was well built and uh, he was dressed in um, a yellow, uh, gold colored um, Malay traditional uh, outfit and uh, with uh, the tanja if I'm not mistaken. And um, well, uh, he, uh, this white crocodile actually, um, brought her to the deepest part of the ocean where he uh, um, was staying at and according to my auntie uh, this uh, white crocodile or this uh, being uh, place of uh, dwelling was huge it was a huge um, palace actually in the sea in the deepest part of the ocean and uh, it was all made of gold and um, and it was huge. The the the, the only thing that I can uh, that I can I, I can um, uh, picture it is like a, it, it is a castle anyway. Actually, like it is a castle. And uh, my auntie did give us um, details of how the place looked like, and she was um, brought on a tour of of his place, of this being's place, and. Um, at the end of uh, the 
the the the tour um this being um told her that it's not to go and they went up again to um the land and uh that was when she 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 got up from her sleep and what she said was that um she thought it was a dream it was just a dream you know uh, nothing else but a dream but what she was shocked uh at was that when she came back she was in bed yes she was in bed but the only thing that shocked her was that on her feet her feet was wet and there were um beach sand on her feet and on the bed that was what uh, shocked her because she was on the bed sleeping uh, at a particular point of time so what could have happened is it true that uh, the white crocodile actually came to her dream and brought he- brought her down to his uh, place of dwelling oh well, nobody knows but to us it is a big mystery mystery uh, up till today even for me um, because I've not uh, uh, personal encounter the white crocodile and, uh, but uh, there, there were stories uh, there were uh, stories told to us also that uh, the white crocodile actually came before and um, to protect us because there were uh, I mean some somebody was doing uh, this black magic uh, thingy onto one of our family members and this white tiger white uh, crocodile actually came to uh, protect and um, get rid of um, the the black magic uh, yeah so that was what that was what I heard back then um, well uh, whether it's true or not it is up to you <laughs> but that is my story well let us go to uh, story number two and here it is The second story um, was told to us, to me, um, by my uh, late mom, and this happened uh, way back when we were staying at Gelang Baru, right? Uh, and um, it happened uh, to this particular family actually, and it involves dolls. Here's the story. Well, this family actually, uh, they they have. Uh, this mother and father they have this uh, daughter I'm not sure how many kids they have but uh, there's this particular daughter of theirs who loves collecting dolls baby dolls and uh, whenever she goes out with her family she uh, will always try to convince her parents to get her uh, dolls uh, to add to her collection so this particular day um, she had she, okay. She 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 have a lot of she, a lot of dolls. Okay, and uh, she kind of like displays them on her bed, and um, so uh, on one particular day, uh, the entire family was out. The only one at home was um, was her mom, and um, it kind of like uh, it was kind of like late around seven plus in the evening if I'm not mistaken um, and that was when things happened okay the mother actually went into her bedroom uh, to uh, uh, clean the room or something or to take something out of the room and what she saw was on the bed uh, there was this collection of dolls baby dolls and this baby doll every single one of them the head turned towards her and their eyes were like blinking and what shocked the mom was when the dolls actually talked talked to each other and um, that was the last straw 
from what I heard, that was the last straw, and the mom actually gathers all, gathered all the dolls, threw them away. And uh, when this girl came back uh, home uh, and saw that all her collection of dolls had been thrown away uh, into uh, the bin, she was devastated. Uh, she was angry, and but then again, the mom explained to her what happened, and she understood. <laughs> And from that day on onwards, she did not collect any more dolls. And that is the story to end tonight. And those are the two stories from my collection, from me to you. And I do hope that you will come back next week for episode 4 of uh, season 3, where I will share with you more stories more horror stories more mystic stories right and um till then uh do not forget to subscribe if you have not done so uh press the like button uh share the videos that i have on my youtube channel and of course do press the bell so that you will receive notifications whenever i upload new videos well till then you take care and good night and this is the voice saying, I'm the longest.